I've been wanting to check out Canva for quite a while. I've heard a lot about it as a great graphics design platform and can certainly uh, have need in a teaching situation to create graphics from time to time. They can be a very useful tool. Uh, what, another thing I love about a tool like this, uh, in addition to it being free, is that um, students can be a great platform for students to create content as well. So I'm going to go ahead and check it out and kill two birds with one stone and kind of build out a little three-minute tutorial while I check it out. So come on along with me. Uh, I see you can sign up with Google. I think that's awesome. I love that. It makes things really easy, and I'm going to go ahead and do that. After you sign up, you'll get asked if you want to use it for work, personal use, or education. I'm choosing education, and here I land on Create a Design. So one of the things that I've heard about Canva that makes it so uh, easy and powerful is that there's a lot of great templates, and right off the bat, it's asking you, what do I want to design? A presentation, a blog, graphic, graphic, a banner. Let's let's just go with a banner in this case and see what happens. So what kind of a banner would I like to design? Is this maybe a cover for Facebook, a Twitter header, etc., etc.? It would be kind of fun to create a new Facebook cover for one of my pages. And again, I'm getting prompted, you know, being told that you try one of these templates to uh, make it easier to get started. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down through these and check these things out here. I also see that I can search at the top. So if I type in education and search, I get a lot of different images. And I see that uh, many of them there's a small fee for. So, uh, you know, people, these, these types of um, operations got to make some money or they're not going to stay around and very affordable, you know, a dollar for certain images. Um, this one here is free. I could certainly see uh, potentially putting that to use. So I'm going to bring that over. Um, and then I'm going to go upload some of my own images. So I see the upload option over here on the left. I clicked on that and then I get this upload your own images button. All right, so I spent about 10 minutes messing around. I dumped that one image I was using. I imported a bunch of images I had, moved them around so I could kind of come up with a design, kept it simple in the end, used this text option and added this heading up here. Uh, and then there are backgrounds. There are some nice free backgrounds and paid backgrounds. Again, typically a, a buck a pop. And I'm done. I created my new Facebook cover, cover image for the Flip Classroom Workshop. Uh, Facebook page and I'm going to put that out there. In fact, I hit download and here it comes in Google uh, Chrome. So I've got it downloaded and I'm in, you know, Canva really does look like it's they make it super easy to create images in many different types of formats using their templates and tools, uh, much simpler and, and in a more fun, um, flowing kind of fashion than if you're just creating them purely from scratch. Uh, I definitely recommend it. Canva, check it out for graphics today.